Welcome to the homework for lesson 11. This is module 8 of second grade. Don't forget to write your name on here. And for parts A, C, and E, identify the shaded area. And here's this A here, and C is here, and E is farther on down the page. So let's see, the, the shaded area is one half, and here it's two halves. And then it says for B, circle the shape above that has a shaded area that shows one hole. Well, here's that's the whole thing shaded in, so I'll circle that one. For C, we have that's one of the thirds shaded in. Here, two of the thirds are shaded in. And here, three of the thirds are shaded in. And then it says for D, here, circle the shape above that has a shaded area that shows one hole. Well, the three-thirds has the whole thing shaded in. And then here's E, just like the others. One-fourth is shaded. This has one, two, three, four-fourths shaded in. This one has three-fourths, and this one has two. And then again, circle the shape that has a shaded area that shows the whole thing shaded in. One hole. That's the one right there. Four-fourths. Now, what fraction do you need to color so that one hole is shaded? Well, here I would have to shade, these are halves, and I would still have to shade one of them, so I need to shade one half so that the whole thing would be shaded in. Now, this rectangle for B is in thirds. <coughs> one of them is shaded in, but I, so I still need to shade in two of them, so it's two-thirds. And you'll notice that I'm writing these in unit form. Please keep doing that. <clears throat> I mean, if you already know how to write in regular fraction form, um, it's not important that you use it here. We're, we'll get to it, believe me. In, in, uh, in third grade, we'll definitely get to it. Uh, but for right now, we don't want to worry about numerators and denominators and getting mixed up about which number goes where and... This is three. These are fourths, and I need three. So that's I need to shade in three fourths. And here, these are fourths. There's four of them, and I still need to shade in two of them. So it's two fourths. And here I have one, two, three, four equal parts, so I'm looking at fourths, and I still need to shade two of them, so it's two fourths. And here I have two equal parts, so they're halves, and I still have to shade one of them, so it's one half. <clears throat> now it says complete the drawing to show one whole. If this is a half, then draw one hole. Well, if that's a half, I need another half, right? Because it takes two halves to make a hole. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another piece that's the same. And if I use the straight edge, because I, if you've watched enough of my videos, you know I can't draw a straight line without a straight edge. I just, I'm just terrible at it. And sometimes even with one, I'm not that good. So there's, that's good enough. That, so now that would be a hole. And now if this is, now if this same rectangle is a third, to make a hole, I would need three thirds to make a hole. So I'm going to need two more pieces just like this, and that will give me three. I'm just kind of guessing how long these lines are going to have to be. And let's see, if I put a line right about here, that'll be about right. And I put another line here, that'll be about right. And then I can just erase the extra. And now if this is a fourth, then I need four of them. So now the sides are going to get longer. And I'm just going to try to make there, there, make them just, just make them close. 
That's good. Now I can erase the extra. There, and now I have four equal pieces, so they're fourths. And since I have four of them, that's one whole.